Let's just put that bad boy there. All right. This is your stimulus update, your second stimulus update package. The economy is booming in certain areas. So there's a few things that we need to um, really address. So one of the first things that I want you to do is to direct yourself Hold on. There we go. All right, what's going on starting today? If you're on the email list, you will get it. Because um, this thing actually just jumped up on me. All right. Today is the link's not down there below, but by the time that this renders, I will be selling the YouTube course for 50% off. So I will be jumping back into that this month. The link's not below, but it will be below. So just wanted to let you guys know that. And <laughs> we're going to, it's like, I got to figure out how to clean all that stuff up so I can live stream. Cause I gotta, I gotta figure that out, but we got this camera and we can rock and roll. So Friday has passed. They did not get a second stimulus check or a second stimulus package proposal done. Tomorrow, the clock starts ticking loudly. The clock starts ticking very, very loudly because they're going on vacation Friday. And there's a great chance that they will not be able to get this pushed through. And that's kind of scary. So what we're going to talk about. Hold on. All right. RV sales are booming. All right. I'm going to I'm going to talk about some stuff here. During the coronavirus, all the RV sales are booming amidst the coronavirus and pandemic. Sales of RVs and motorhomes are trending up nationally, and dealers in Northwest Ohio are seeing similar results. The pandemic forced the cancellation of countless summer vacations. Despite economies and business starting to reopen, RV deals are finding many people prefer just with their prefer to travel just with their families. They're getting that comment several times a day, said Greg Cab, a general manager at Labidi RV Sales in Holland. We're selling to people from all across North America, East Coast, West Coast, Florida, Texas, which isn't that unusual for us, but the numbers are multiplying this year. This is a area that is booming. Now, RV sales, RV, RVs are not cheap. RVs can cost between ten thousand and three hundred thousand, depending on the style and features. A moderately appointed camper trailer pulled behind a truck might cost twenty thousand, while a fifth wheel. So, if you already got a truck, the cheaper option would be for you to get a fifth wheel or something to pull behind that truck. And typically, you're going to need a V8 dually to haul that bad boy. So that's one of the things I'm about to tell you something that is um, also booming. High end automobile sales.
how do I know this? I, I was in the market for a Porsche and literally they were moving so fast that I actually found one was talking to the dealer and before I could get a chance to go in and look at it, literally this happened to me like four, four times. I was on the phone talking to her and she's like, oh, someone just put a deposit down. And then four days later, they took it off the website because it was bought. These are $100,000 cars that are. But I'm going to tell you why they're selling so quickly, because the dealerships are reducing the price because the car that I got, and I'll be talking about it, um, if it wasn't for this pandemic, it would have cost me about 105 something like that. And I got it for less than 90000 So... I went in and the only reason it isn't in the garage is because I moved some money <clears throat> that I had locally. Well, I don't have I don't have a lot of money locally. Like 30, 40 grand. But the real money was in a high interest savings account. So I had to I gotta move that money from that account to a local account so I can get a cashier's check and pick up the car. So whenever that happens, that's when I will get my brand new baby Porsche. And it, it's just interesting because I've been shopping for a while. I, I, this has been on my radar for about three years. And I was like, you know, I'm going to pull a trigger. I'm going to pull a trigger. And I've been shopping. So I know the market. And I knew that the market was moving really, really fast. So RV sales are moving. Like I was at the Porsche dealership yesterday the dealership was packed. Let me say this again. The dealership was packed on the Saturday. The salesman I talked to, he said they sold 124 Porsches. And we had this conversation because I was like relaying my experiences to him. And he says, you know, because I'm a salesman. And when I tell people that they're moving this quickly, they don't believe me because they think I'm being a salesman. And then they come back and the car they wanted is gone. This is another area that is booming. Actually, let me show you this. That's that Rolls Royce Cullinan. Brand new. Brand new. So the high end market. Because let, let's go ahead and keep it a buck. Regardless of what the economy is doing, there's always going to be a group of people with money. And right now, people with money are pouncing on these deals. I can't wait to 2021 because I'm probably going to get myself three to four houses next year. Because I already see the erosion happening. And even if Congress comes up with a stimulus package to stem the evictions and the foreclosures. This is still not going to keep the property market from crashing. It's not still going to crash. Um, so this is one of the craziest things that's going to happen. All right, so what's going on, people? LVMC, lots of NFL players are opting out of coming back this year. I saw that. A lot of players like, I ain't going to play. <laughs> the red shorts. Roslyn, like essentially the way that the live stream thing works is typically you had to hit something in the YouTube and it they 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 changed it. Since the last time that I live streamed, which was last week, 
they've changed it. So now I know that I cannot, um, you know, once I hit the wire cast, I got to be ready. So it was funny. That's funny. I know, man. I know. Tim A, should I buy Apple stock? Because Apple is getting ready to do a stock split. I think it's 400 bucks. So the price of Apple shares are going to go down to 100 bucks. Maybe. Alan Jackson, to sign up for the email list, go below, get 30 days or the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success, and that will put you on the email list. Timothy, I wonder how Telsa, they didn't, like, people weren't canceling the orders. You got to look at who buys a Tesla to begin with. Because I was thinking about uh, Model X, the, the SUV. It's like 104000 and I was like, do I really want a Tesla? I want a Porsche. So I didn't get the Tesla. But the market that they sell to isn't as depressed as the general market. In curse, I don't think they're going to do that because uh, I talked about this in the live stream previously that if everything was just a drop and then we would have a true reset, they're going to keep messing around with it. DJ Speechless, thanks for the $2 super chat. I got rid of the Audi. Three pistol sevens. More people are buying lake houses, etc. Now that companies are letting people work from home. This is true. The high end rental market in the middle of the luxury market because the top end of the luxury market, and let's all say this is a homes over a million dollars. Actually, we could start at 775 because I've been in this neighborhood going on three years and I have seen there's literally a few million dollar houses that have been on the market since I've been in this house. But between about 450 and 600, that market is moving very, very quickly. Sue and Sam, the banks are not going to close. Timothy, why wouldn't anyone buy a car over an asset that can grow in value and generate income? Timothy, I already have Hustlers Kung Fu, Disruptive Mail, the B School for Hustlers, the self, the Financial Self Defense School, one YouTube channel, two you three. I have eight streams of income. That's a good question, but I have eight strings of income. I'm going to make back the money that I, I'm going to spend next week within a month. So that's why I'm buying a car over assets because on Savage Finance, I talk about this. You know, once you work hard and you get money and you want to enjoy yourself, you should spend some money and enjoy yourself. I'm going to spend some money and enjoy myself because, see, I already have assets that produce cash. I have eight revenue streams. Actually, I have nine, including Savage Finance Consulting. I've got nine revenue streams. So, you know, there it is. Sam McCunn. Actually, um, Porsches actually hold a resale value very well. Yes, they do depreciate, but this is something else. There are some Porsches that are selling for more than they did when they were new. And these will be like 1970s, 1985. Let me show you something.
here is a 2001 selling for 36,000. Here is a 43 year old 1972 Porsche 911 S selling for 42,000. A 1971 selling for 60. Well, actually, that's what the bids are up to. 1979, 40,000. 1991, 26,000. 2001, 18. Here is a 2016 selling for 40, 2004, whoa, yeah, this, this one is probably going to go for about 105 to 115. This one's going for 28, it's probably going to go for 40 or 50, because I, I, I've been watching this site. And these cars, they have not slowed down. Uh, you know, once again, there's a certain market that always has money. Always has money, and they will spend that money to entertain themselves. You going heavy in Apple? Antonio is trying to get a 70K house for 50K cash next year. Can rent it out. Hey, hey, it's going to be doable. Black power, black, black power flexing in the comments. I, you know, once you get here, you'll, you'll understand. <laughs> Uh, Jabras, I never looked that much into Tesla because, like I said, I you know I, I'm still like regular cars. I didn't know it took a while to get them up. Yes, their stock is on fire. Uh, Alan Jackson, I would not be buying airlines. Airlines are going to be depressed for the next two or three years. The X Pack Home. Apple actually had record profits this year, even though their stores were closed. Because they see Apple, like many other, unlike many other businesses, has a very strong internet platform. They they have a really strong website. Literally, this is you could go on Apple's uh, website, order something, and if it's in stock, it could be delivered to your house within two hours. Black Power, yeah, they're pretty. Steven, yes, Apple is making money hand over fist. Uh, Isaac, I got the automatic. Porsche has what's called a PDK transmission. You can't shift faster than it shifts. So I got that. So one, one of the things is like, um, so you should also understand that um, there is a segment that, because essentially this is what I've been doing here for the last 10 years is trying to get people to get up into the segment. Because if you're making one hundred and fifty to $300,000 a year, you're in that segment that is catching deals all over the place because literally um, I was an informed, you know, when I was selling office furniture, I love talking to an informed buyer. This is someone who had talked to other salespeople. This is someone that knew what the marketplace was like. And I went in there and I talked to the salesman and I was like, this is what I'm looking for. We drove it. I liked it. And I was like, okay, how much to hold it until I can get the money because I'm paying cash. And I put my deposit down and they gave me the next week. So once the money transfers from 
that bank to my local bank. I'm going to go get a cashier's check and I'm going to go pick it up. Well, Apple is heavy into tech with iCloud, the Apple Watch. See, expat home, you don't understand because, like, you should go over to the YouTube channel, Life on the Tube, because if you're a YouTuber, like, all right, I have the Apple Watch. I actually sold all of my other watches because this is, like, let me show I worked out this morning, and this is addictive. All right, so you get this feedback, right? I was working out, and it, it can do EKG and everything. So I'm addicted to the feedback because, you know, I'm going to burn about, like, 750 calories today. And, you know, if you're a YouTuber and you, like, this is a MacBook Pro in the iCloud interfaces, it, it's an ecosystem. Apple is not just selling computers they're selling a system that really works because I'm never going back to Windows. Not for what I do. Apple's sitting on about $220 billion cash. Apple's good to go. Apple's not dying. Nope. Pretty much, Patrick. Jeremiah, thanks for the $20 super chat. Good morning. What do you think about the new? You know, I kind of looked at that one, but, you know, I've been looking at the 911 for about three years and I kind of looked at it and, you know, it, it was sweet. It was nice. But if I get an electric car, that's probably what I would get over a Tesla. No, Robbie Rob, I'm not doing a car channel. <clears throat> I like cars, but I don't love cars. Pretty much. Yep. James S. Facts on that PDK. Yeah, it can, you know, I was talking to the salesman. It shifts faster than you can. And I'm pretty good because the Audi, which I sold on eBay, is a six speed and it's a manual. And, you know, I like shifting gears, but, you know, I'm going for the efficiency. You know, um, it, it's funny. I have a Samsung phone. I have a, uh, no, I have a Google Pixel. You want to know why I have the Google Pixel? Because the camera on the Google Pixel is better in some aspects than the camera on this. And that's what I use to take my thumbnail pictures. That's, and also I do consulting calls on it. But right now, it, you know, there is a certain segment of the market that is enjoying the everything's on sale because one of the reasons that these cars like um, I was looking at a 911 turbo, they dropped the price 20 G's and it because they had been they, they had it for like almost two months. And then when I found it, they dropped the price 20 G's. I was contacting the girl. And literally, while I was on the phone with the salesperson, someone put a deposit on it. Because, see, once you know what the marketplace is doing by being an informed consumer, you know, I realized the salesman wasn't like, literally, if I didn't buy that car Saturday, it probably wouldn't have been there Tuesday or Wednesday. That's how fast they're moving. Pixel 3L. Yep, that's what I got. Carry a gas can. That's funny. Um, so th there's so many things that are going on. But there is a part of the economy that hasn't been touched. Like personally, I have not been touched by this pandemic. I've actually made more money. 
So there is, you know, and this is where you want to position yourself in that sweet spot of having good cash flow and being able to take advantage of these deals. Because like next year, my goal is to buy three or four houses. That's what I'm shooting for. Because I got a video that's coming out on Savage Finance next week that's going to talk about that. Google Pixel is the business phone. All right. Congratulations, Mr. Redskins 562. Get that Range Rover. See, Mr. Redskin, I was shocked how fast they're moving out the dealership. I'm telling you because people are jumping on these deals, man. When is the next webinar? What, what, what course are you on, Javin? Steve James, cars drop in price after 90 days. The dealerships have to rotate their stock and need to get cash out of them. Hey. Hey, Cammy. I would not, you know, I would go ahead and um, do my own LLC because oxygen is going to charge you like 200 or 400 bucks. And also, for those folks of you who signed up for oxygen in the links below, they take forever. Well, I don't know if it's oxygen. Well, it's got to be oxygen because I already have the LLC. So I applied over a week ago and I'm still. I'm still getting this. Business application is being processed. And also I filed for a new LLC. Hold on a second. I'll be back. Brass Apples Marketing website. And yep, pretty much, man. Pretty much. Is uh commercials are years ahead of anyone. BK from the Rockies. People are jumping on deals ASAP. That's why I think the housing market isn't going to be what people are suspected for 21. There's going to be slim pickings for investors. BK for the Rockies, I would disagree with you because one of the reasons that home prices are so high is so many people are not selling their houses that they would normally sell. They're, I, I see it all the time because I'm looking in the markets over here that people will literally place their house for rent because they don't want to sell it because they don't want to deal with this mess. So at some point, the inventory is going to be greater than the number of buyers. And that's when you will see uh, there's going to be some sweet deals in 2021 because here's one of the things. Even with the, uh, the government giving you an economic boost for unemployment, which will not be 600 bucks, it's going to run out. Several states are already out of money and they're tax and they're tapping into the Federal Reserve Unemployment Insurance Plan. How much money's in there? 
And that money's going to run out, and they cannot pay these people. And once these these benefits run out, and like they got a whale of a deal to do with, you know, with the uh, foreclosures that are going to be happening because these people, there are people right now who file forbearance because they didn't have a job. And when it comes time to start paying their mortgage again, they're not going to be able to pay their mortgage. Hopefully they have equity in their house and they're going to have to sell. And many of them are going to have to sell and they're going to lose their equity because see, I'm not paying retail price for a house. I'm going to come at you. You know, if you're asking 250, I'm going to offer you 20 to 20. And if you don't take it, I'm just going to go to someone else who will. I am not going to pay retail because I'm going to be stealing equity. Look like, Hey, I got, I got my shark fin on. I'm going to be stealing people's equity. I'm going to be taking that equity. And I'm going to turn the house into a renter and start getting some cash flow. Because the rental market between a certain segment is doing well because people have found living in an apartment sucks ass during the pandemic. Marcus, yes, he, he don't understand. Robbie, most, most states you could pay over two fifty and can have a same day LLC. Yeah, that ain't that ain't happening here in Georgia, man. Uh, they've been, I'm, I'm it's been a week. There there will be plenty of deals. There will be plenty of deals. Plenty of deals, man. There there will be like, cause see. Right now, this is what's happening. Let's look at what's happening. People with money are getting these deals because they have money. The Haitian, thanks for the $10 super chat. I'm getting plenty of overtime during the COVID. A lot of people are using it as an excuse to vacation. So I'm going to, like, like I said, my goal is to get three to four houses next year. Um, I'm not going to pay retail. They're going to have to be deals. If it's not a deal, I'm not going to buy it. And I'm going to stick some renters in there. Because I guarantee you, because l- let me, let me tell you what I use won't be nothing. And it would come in waves. And you know, when it would start, and I would go to Craigslist and I would go back two, three weeks and start offering after the people who just listed something. Those people were really resistant. That didn't make any sense. But after two, three, four weeks, they, 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 they soften up a little bit. So, you know, essentially, um, my plan is to rent to people who could afford to buy a house, but don't want to buy a house. There are many people in that market. It, it's a sweet little niche. But there are many people in this market who literally, because they, they're going to have a job, they're only going to be here for a year, and they want to live in a house. They don't want to live in an apartment. And this is one of the things that the pandemic has pushed out, that a lot of people, like, I, I'm going to be frank with y'all. Like, this house is 5,000 square feet. Not once have I felt cramped or, you know, I can do what I want. I can walk around. Let's see. Okay, that battery's still good. I can do what I want, you know? And there there is a certain comfort in being a house when you, you got to be home all the time. I mean, I got a gym downstairs. I got a big kitchen. I got a big living room. Uh, I've got multiple rooms to do these videos because... Like literally I've turned the dining room into the YouTube and Savage Finance Studio. And I gotta figure out. Oh, for those of you who are uh interested, let me tell you what's coming up. Let's see.
All right. This is going down. What I have done is I have reactivated the old disruptive mail because, you know, I'm going to tell you why I did it because it, it, it dawned upon me that this channel was monetized and I'm like, oh, my God, it's already monetized because essentially you have to get so many subscribers and so many watch hours. But once you cross that, regardless of what you do after the fact, you're monetized. So. I am dropping content over here that's going to be very different. And I also went ahead and I unhid all of the old videos. Now, this is interesting. All these videos you see me, YouTube removed the thumbnail. It's interesting. So um, they're all unhid and the content is going to be very different. It's going to be. Why every man needs to be on their purpose. You know, I, I'm going to start putting up a lot of videos. I got to I got to work on the thumbnail game, but. Yeah, this this is going to be different content It's going to be very, very different. Victor Felix, I'm closing on the house with five acre lot in Central Mass. Cosmic Wizards, when prices for housing uh, will vary, there are over 350 markets. When it comes to housing, some will have deals sooner or later. I'm planning on getting my third rental in 2022. Antonio Williams, half my county is five years behind on property tax. Wow, that's crazy, man. Vincent Steven, what are you talking about for the real estate? Uh, let me go ahead and tell you my vision for my real estate company. Um, the goal is 25 houses. I, I plan on doing that because if I could pick up three to four houses a year for the next, you know, just depends. But I'm giving myself an eight year window to get this accomplished starting in 2021. And essentially what I'm going to hire is a property leasing manager. Because, you know, I will do it myself. But once I get up to eight or ten houses, <clears throat> I'm not I'm going to hire someone. Maybe a property management company. I don't know, but I'm probably going to hire someone because once I get to twenty five houses, that's going to be forty, fifty thousand dollars a month. That's going to be easy enough money to have enough money to hire a small team of people to manage the property to lease the property, to answer the phones. So that will be a source of true passive income because I'm not going to do anything because essentially go ahead, hire me, you know, like a property manager, uh, maybe a landscaping team, you know, just because, because let me, let me tell you, I'm going to um, have, I'm not going to do section eight. I'm not going to go out and buy a bunch of cheap rentals, not to say that buying cheap rentals is bad. It's just I have a different game plan. Houses I want to buy are going to be 250 to 350,000. They're going to be nice. I'm going to recondition them. I'm also going to do, you know, the landscaping will be included in the rent because, you know, once I get to 25 houses, I can hire people to do landscaping because that's going to be a lot of landscaping and it may be cheaper than, you know, just buy a pickup truck, some lawnmowers, get two dudes and they consistently go around and just do that. Maybe do some maintenance and stuff. So that's my plan. I see Prox. Facebook marketplace is where I find renters. Craigslist is full of the wrong people looking. Wow. What is the rental range for this niche of people? Uh, 2,500 up to about 5,000 per month. Those rentals are really doing well, surprisingly.
Robbie Rob, that channel was monetized in 2018. So I just started it up again. Uh, Charlatan, I'm doing personal and business for Oxygen. Well, you know, Bright Fire uh, Butterfly Fitness. Because also, I will be 65 in 12 years. And I, I've asked myself, do I want to work like this? Because I really enjoy what I do. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying myself. But at 65, am I going to want to do this? At 65, I may just want to kick back and travel, you know? So I'm going to put myself in that position because, you know, the companies I have, the eight streams, the nine streams of income, I have to work to keep that money coming in. And, you know, I've just calculated. I get up to 25 houses because, like, let's see. You do 25 houses and let's see 2,500 times 25 is $62,000 a month times 12, $750,000 a year minus 20% for taxes and stuff. So that's going to leave $600,000, you know, that's taxes is property taxes that's paying people and 600,000 divided by 12 is $50,000 per month. On average, my living expenses right now are about 6,000, 6,000 a month. So, I could easily live on 50,000 and one of the tricks is like this car I just got, I'm going to pay cash for it. So, I don't have obligations i don't have loans i got like a paypal business loan that will be paid off the end of this year and that's it so i can i mean 50 50k i mean i wouldn't even use all the 50k i would probably be living on 10 or 12 so you know 25 houses get up to that level and you know if 65 if i want to keep doing this i, I want to give myself options so if it's 65 if i'm like you know i don't really want to do youtube anymore because you know this is 12 years in the future i'm forecasting 12 years in the future because i don't know so i might still be doing this but i'll still have those options and i'll still get the property and i'll set it up like that yes we are Victor Felix, yes, because essentially uh, one of the things is like, you know, I've been doing a lot of consults and I've, I've gotten a lot of people who've gotten this PPP SBA money and essentially we're putting them plans where they can set up a business where they're not doing all the work because I got one guy, he, he's working like seven days a week and everything. It's like you got to learn how to hire, you got to learn how to manage so you can kick back and still have money coming in. Pretty much, Robbie Rob. Uh, I don't know about buying up a block. We will see. Like I said, you know, because I've, I've crunched the numbers. At 25 houses, I'm good. I don't need a 401k. I don't need a Roth IRA. You know, I got a video about that that's coming up on Savage Finance. Cosmic Williams, I'm focusing on coming up neighborhoods for rentals. My house I bought for 55K has homes now selling on the same block for 220. Cool. Rents also went up 200 bucks in the same year. All right, Cosmic Wisdom. I don't know about fun rides. What is that? All right, Vincent. <laughs> Actually, you know, um, like I said, this video is going to be done um, probably they're going to work on it tomorrow because, see, I have an editing team. So that video is probably going to drop Thursday that talks about that.
because essentially, you know, creating systems and doing rental properties that I'm telling you, you know, I got a whole video on that. I don't really know about Airbnb right now. I feel that once we get um, a vaccine, everything's going to come back. And I think Airbnb in the future, because, you know, actually, after I get to 25 properties, I thought maybe if I got five properties and did Airbnb, because I would have a management team who can handle the Airbnb, because essentially uh, I'm just going to set it up because I know when I when I turn 65, I'm not going to want to be ripping and running and answering the phone and meeting. I'm not going to want to do all that. I already know that. So knowing that's coming, just going ahead and prepare for that, because if I can get 25 houses, I'm good. I'm really good. Oh, Mr. Redskin, I'm not going to do fun rise or any of that other stuff because one of the things, and I, I want to say this as gently as possible, I'm on a different level and I don't have to do traditional investments. I don't have to do a Roth RA. I don't have to do a 410k. And I don't have to, because see, you know, if you are making 30, 40, 50, 60,000 dollars a year, Fundrise, 401k, Roth, that, that's 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 a good deal for you. Maybe that's a good deal for you. So I'm not I'm going to create my own investment portfolio. And I should do a video about that on Savage Finance because I'm going to create my own investment. Because here's something else too. As I buy these houses, my intention is to pay cash. So I'm not going to have to pay taxes on the rental income that is generated for about almost 10 years. So each house I pay cash for, because, you know, I want to buy like three or four of them at a time or, you know, in a year, in a year. So let's say we buy this first house in 2021. We get a renter in there. I'm not going to pay taxes on that money until 2020. So I'm going to have a revenue stream of money coming in that I don't have to pay taxes on. Plus, I get the depreciation of real estate. Once again, you know, it's a totally different thing. Thank you, Tally Man. Hello, Mobile Van Detailing, DBA, LLC, man. LLC, Keith L. Victor Felix, a lot of people are moving to these small towns. Yes, these small towns are growing because people want a slower pace of life. They want a house with some property. They want a house sitting on an acre or two. They want a lawn. They want the comfort and the pace. <clears throat> oh, absolutely. These small towns are going to boom. Yeah, they're not going to find a vaccine until this time next year, man. <clears throat> Real sugar babies of Atlanta. That's funny. Bright, you know, bright butterfly fitness because, you know, not, not to sound arrogant, but I'm exceptional because <clears throat> essentially the income where I can buy every quarter one to two houses. So, you know, every quarter I'll sit down with my real estate agent, sit down with my CPA <clears throat> and just buy a house. low income market because I have a friend. All his rentals are four hundred and fifty thousand or more. And he's not, you know, we've talked, he's, he, all his tenants paid. And the rents are 3500 up to 5000 And all his tenants paid. All of his tenants paid at 3500 to 5000 
See, at the rental market there, that's a whole different level and that's a whole different niche. You know, like buying a mansion and trying to rent that, I've seen mansions literally sit for months or years without a renter. It's, you know, there are not a lot of people who can do 14, 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars a month. That's going to be some crazy athlete or some serious executive. But there are a lot of people who can do 3,500 to 5,000 a month. There's a lot of people in that space. And that's that's going to be my sweet spot. Yeah, check it out, because like Savage Finance, because, you know, there, there's because one of the things I like about Savage Finance is and you know i'm systemizing savage finance because literally i have videos for today tuesday and thursday already and i'm going to have two more i'm going to have one tomorrow and i'm going to have another one tuesday then i'm going to have Two. I'm going to have five videos the editing team are going to work on next week for Savage Finance. And I actually, I'm going to get another editor because I'm going to start editing videos for Life on the Tube. And then I'm probably going to start editing videos for um, Life in Black and White, have them do those videos and essentially just systemize this because I have to tell you, having editors has taken a huge, huge burden off of my shoulders because edited videos do much better. Nicholas, even a SEP IRA, because uh, once again, like I said, I, I want to say this gently, I'm on a different level. I don't need all that. I mean, next year I'm going to be in a position to get three to four houses and pay cash for them. Let me go ahead and give you a little update here because uh, Savage Finance, I'm going to get into it. Let's say you are a person and you, you make $33,000 a year. And let's see. $33,000 a year. And let's say you're really good. Minus 20% of your income. So you're saving, you're putting $6,600 into an IRA. Let's go ahead and do this math here. Let's see. 401k calculator. All right. Let's see, you're doing 20% because half of America makes $33,000 a year or less. And let's see, you get a 1% raise a year. All right. So if you're making $33,000 a year and you're putting 20% away, not 10%, 20%, being aggressive, and you do this at age 30 and you do this for 35 years, you would have $1.2 million. All right. Let's just do it at 10%. Let's see what that looks like. If you did 10%, you would have 700,000. Now, this is how 401k's work for people who don't know. Essentially, a 401k is a investment that's like a savings account. At the age 65, you start taking out distributions. So at age 65, you got to figure out how long you're going to live. And then you start biting off that money. So each year, you know, you got like 700,000. Let's say you got um, 700,000. And we're going to divide that by 20. Let's see. 
divided by 20. So you could take out $35,000 a year, plus you're probably going to get $1,025. Some people are going to get it more, but we'll say $1,025 times 12 with Social Security, plus 35. So that's $47,330. Now, let's go ahead. Now, let's do this. You buy one rental house, one, and you get up to twenty five hundred bucks per month. Rent twenty five hundred times twelve is thirty thousand plus your one thousand twenty five. One thousand twenty five times twelve plus your 30,000 is 42. So you can buy one rental property and get almost as much money in retirement as having a 401k that you contribute 10% to. One, just one. Now, if you had yourself four, man, You'd be cooking with gas. You would be cooking with gas. So. Rugged collars, what are your plans in the future? My plans are these YouTube channels. Because see, I help people who are looking for help. If you got someone who needs help, but they're not looking for help, you can't help them. You can't do nothing for them. Bobby Rob facts. I see people paying two to 4k rent and mission easy for areas like Bloom Hills. Yeah, nice areas. They will pay. Uh, my editors right now run 900 bucks a month. I'm going to add another one, another package. It's going to be about 1500 per month to edit. Um, cause I'm currently getting five videos a week. So that's like 20, 22 videos plus the new editing package will add. I'll be doing, I'll be doing about 30 videos a month. So 1500 divided by 30, it's going to cost me 50 bucks to have each video edited, which because like when I send out the um, live stream notification, that's $30, $30, And here's where the editing because see to properly edit a video could take hours and there would be no way that I could run four channels and I was doing all the editing. There, there's no way. Essentially my, cause I, I, I will be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll be talking about my workflow because essentially it takes me literally an hour to do three videos for Savage Finance. And I'm talking about an hour to shoot the video to go ahead and upload the assets to Dropbox, to go in their dashboard, to request them to do an hour. If I was doing the editing on three videos, we would be talking 15 to 20 hours a week. So that would be Savage Finance. And then what I do here, it, it would just, no. So to me, you know, and also, um, if you, I don't know if you've seen my AdSense, like this month I did $5,100 in AdSense. So part of what you should do is take some of your money that you're making. And this isn't, that's just AdSense money. That ain't even the course money. So I can easily pay that outside the AdSense money and still have something left over. And I might get to the point where I may have five channels with heavily edited videos 
where literally I can shoot the videos because if I got and I also have a thumbnail team because uh, like I make the thumbnails for this because it's down and dirty. But <clears throat> essentially, you got to let your editors and, you know, for thumbnails, I got to let them know two days minimum in advance before I do the video if I want it ready. And I'm working on that. But at some point, <clears throat> all my thumbnails are going to be outsourced. At some point, all my video editing will be outsourced. And my goal would be to create the content. That's, you know, the system that I'm putting together. Thank you, Rod, for real estate. D there's a lot of money out there. Hey, Nicholas. Q497, that's going to be an in-demand service. You know, if you've got the uh, patience to do it, like, let me show you. Um, some people be charging a grip for video editing, like $500. Yes, 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 if you know how to do it. All right, so what I want you guys to do is go ahead and subscribe to the camera network it's kind of funny because I, I started thinking about this um <clears throat> there's hustlers kung fu disruptive mail savage finance life on the tube because life on the tube is going to get into philosophy is you know because i i got to i got to work on my thumbnail game on this you know i got i got to get that going but there will be <clears throat> a lot that's going to go down on this channel a lot and i'm not going to be doing videos every day that's something else too that i learned from the youtube um mastermind i'm in you know at the most you want to do three videos a week on a channel at some time you can do um you could do more, but you want to be careful. But like the max, because, you know, I'm, I'm going to see what's going to happen with um, Savage Finance. Because at one point I was doing four videos and last week I only did three videos. I had one video, the oxygen video popped. That video is up to like 14, 15,000 views in a week. And I need to create more videos like that because that's what grows your channel. Because like, um, I, I'm like, I think that video's got me like 400, 500 subscribers in a week. So I've got some more stuff that's coming. But yeah, be sure to go and subscribe to those channels. And I'm going to edit out. Uh, Tank Johnson, my goal is, well, I will have a holding company and I will have an operating company and I will have cluster of houses, probably two to four houses. I haven't really looked at it yet, but when I get there, I'm probably going to put two to four houses per LLC and then because there will be the holding company, there will be the operating company, this will be the management company, and then the LLCs will be what owns the house but the rent checks will go to the property management company tk i just seen someone else use that system they've been putting videos out every day since they oh yeah because essentially <clears throat> if you know if you hire enough editors um yeah a lot of people who do these daily vlogs they'll hire someone in another country so they'll they'll shoot the content, ship it off to their editor, and in the morning they, when they get it back from the editor, they'll upload it. Oh yeah, there'll be some more driving videos. All 
Well, we will see. We will see. <clears throat> we, we will see. All right. That's all I got for you guys. Be sure to go below and get 30 days to 2,500. Be sure to go below. Get the Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. If you have not signed up for Oxygen, go ahead. <clears throat> Once I get my business approved and once, you know, because it's probably because it's going to take me 90 days before I can talk about it. And I will show and talk about what credit limits they gave me because literally I've already got $10,000 through the personal account. And who knows what I'm going to run through the business account. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you later.